Hello friends, welcome. Now, in this video I'm going to create the hero section. You can go and find some hero section on the resources I showed to you, so on all of them, so let's copy this. And here I am in the tiling components. We have some hero sections here. Also on the tiling UI, we have this one which is free. Let's go to this one also and browse components. So yeah, here we have hero section. Only this one is free and you can uh, search for yours, but I'm going to create from scratch. So let's go inside the VS code, JS components, front end, and let's create a new component and I'm going to name it hero dot view okay let's add the script here set up and then add the template okay and here i'm going to add a section so let's say section I'm going to give it ID of uh, home because we need that for navigation and let's add class. So I'm going to add on large with the other edge to be eighty five the edge and I'm going to add flex items center and i'm going to give it a bg uh, we have primary for this one so bg light primary and on the dark mode we're going to give it a bg dark primary okay let's give it a py 32 we have that on the section on large I'm going to say py zero because we have by default and let's say overflow hidden. Okay. Now what we need here, I'm going to add first the container to be MX auto. So let's add a div with class container MX out of the center dot and I'm going to say hatch the be full. Okay. Now here I'm going to copy paste the divs I have created just to save some time. Okay, now inside the container I'm going to add a div with a flex items center h full and padding top to be eight then i'm going to add another div class flex one flex and give it a flex call items center large items start and here i'm going to add the paragraph and I'm going to say here, hey, I'm Jen. You can add, for example, hey, I am Tony. Okay, then I'm going to add the H1. So after the paragraph, I'm going to add the H1 with text for Excel leading uh, 44 pixels, MD text, 5XL, MD leading tight and LG text 7 Excel large also leading 1.2 font bold MD tracking uh, minus 2 pixels and here I said just I built and design web interfaces okay after this one I'm going to add a paragraph just uh, learn ipsum so after this H2 H1, sorry, and 
in this paragraph, I add padding top to four, a bottom, padding bottom eight, MD padding top six, and MD padding bottom 12. Max width uh, 480 pixels, text light, a large, sorry, and text center on large, text is going to be on the left. And here we have some lorem ipsum. I'm going to add also a button. With the class button, we have created that. And button MD, BG accent, on hover BG light secondary, MD, BTN large, and transition all. And here I just said worked with me. We can add a link here or we can add the link to go to the contact form maybe, but let's leave it for now. And then I'm going to add another div. So after this, let's close this div now. So here. And after this div, I'm going to add another div, hidden, large, flex, flex one and justify and items. And and H both. And here I'm going to add the image. So let's say image with source and also alt. Now, if I save and let's go in the welcome page, welcome view here when we have a hero. I'm going to add that. So let's say hero. Okay, Clo self close and let's save it. And let's see what we have right now. We have something like this. I built and design web interfaces. Here yeah, I'm Tony and I think we are okay. We just need to change this on hover. Uh, the text is going to be something else. So when we have a button, on hover the text so let's say on hover the text is going to be light tail 500 let's save it and yeah i think now it's okay good we need the image and for that we are going to say when we have three we can find three images and we have uh, three images, Unsplash and so on, Pixabay. Let's see. You can add your own there, your own image, but I'm going to add uh, this one, I think is okay. So let's download that. And I'm going to say hero. Okay, so let's save it. And now I'm going to move this to my uh, project. So, okay, now I have moved that to the my project. So if I open the public images, here is the hero JPG. And let's add that inside here. So HTTP. Uh, portfolio dot test slash image slash the hero dot jpeg okay let's give it alt as a hero and let's save this let's go and yeah refresh that Just I don't like this because it's on the I want on the center here. So flex flex one justify and items center. Yeah, I think now is okay. Maybe we can add also some uh, rounded corners.
let's say large let's save and let's see why we don't have around it large oh not here cut and on the image add the class with around it large yeah i think uh, it's okay now now let's go and inspect the element yeah we have something like this this is hidden if you want the uh, show also we can add just the b flex and yeah here it is we need also flex items center and we need to say here flex goal on the md and up is going to be flex row and save it and yeah we have something like this just uh, so on this div i'm going to add margin top to be 8 and md margin top is going to be 0 i don't want only on the yeah now it's, i think it's okay and if we are yeah we have something like this okay also we need to see on the dark mode so i'm going to change on dark mode and i think it's okay it's looking good just inspect elements yeah how you think i think it's okay for me okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video just one more thing on hover let's change this where is the button button is here on hover we had the bg light secondary and so on just let me copy this duplicate and i'm going to say on dark over i'm going to say bg dark secondary and also here on dark over the text is going to be dark uh, navi 100 let's save and let's see now I think now it's okay. Good. See you in the next one, friends.